I'm in Rotorua, New Zealand at the Fancy Meow Cat Cafe. How about that for an idea? Well, we had a great time at this cat cafe. There was at least 16 cats that we could see, and it was a fun time for everybody. Do you know in the Bible, it talks about dogs, but there doesn't seem to be references to cats, at least domesticated cats as we know them today. There certainly are references to big cats, such as lions and leopards. And in fact, in Isaiah 11, 6, it talks about a time when the predator and the prey live peacefully together. Isaiah 11 verse 6 says, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. Wow, isn't this a, a wonderful time when God restores things back to the natural order, when he restores things to the way they were in Eden. And this connects into a theme in Revelation. Revelation 21 verse 4 and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. We do suffer the consequences of sin today. There is pain, there are tears, hardships and trials in our life. And God is there with us, helping us today. But we do have hope to look forward to a time when God will wipe away the tears from our eyes and there'll be no more sorrow, no more crying, no more pain in a world, a new heaven, a new earth that has no more the consequences of sin. Isn't this a wonderful time to look forward to? Will you accept this gift? God offers us the gift of eternal life through Jesus. Will you accept this gift? If you'd like to stay in touch, please subscribe 